Bonjour, hola, it's another Disney vlog day. Morning. It's... Joe is here. Joe's looking through the Festival of the Arts passbook. Yep, I'm cause... currently marking up everything I want to eat, and there is a lot. There is a lot. That's the, again the theme. Food is the theme of this vlog series. And drink, sorry. And, and he's marking off the drinks as well. Um, it is Tuesday, the 1st of February. That's weird. Um, but we are off to Hollywood Studios this morning. It's a Disney Genie Plus day as well. And we've gone all out today because we've also booked individual lightning lanes for Rise of the Resistance because we've never done it. And Mickey's Runaway Railway because we've never done it and we thought Let's just do it, get it done, dusted, at least then we've done it, and if by chance we manage to queue for it at some point, then great. Um, we also have a normal lightning lane for Tower of Terror. Am I right, Joseph? Joe's still tired. You are right. He'll perk up later, don't worry, this is normal. Joe's not a morning person. But... We need to get to Hollywood Studios, and then the plan is to go over to Epcot to do what Joe was marking off in the Festival of the Arts Passport, try some dishes, and then we are going to attempt to watch Enchantment. Again. Again. Because... <laughs> we just need to give ourselves plenty of time to find a decent spot. Yes, and if, if you watched last week's vlog, Yesterday. Epic fell. <laughs> Epic fell. Yeah, it just went woo. But that's it. It, it. You make plans, you you think you know what you're going to do, and it all changes, and you've just got to be reactive to it. So the main thing is you have fun and you enjoy Disney because it is stressful at times, and things don't always work out how you want them to, but you've just got to go with it and look at what the other options are. Because there is a load still here at Disney to do. So, with that said, we need to get on to uh, Hollywood Studios. Let's go. We made it to Hollywood Studios. Interesting bus ride. God, I hate kids. <laughs> Joe's not a kid person. No, but I don't like kids. Just the annoying ones who lift up handles on buses and just whacking them, and whacking them, whacking them, whacking them. And then they stop, and then you think they're done. But they're not done. They then carry on. <laughs> and then they start singing Jingle Bells in January. Just Actually, little, no, it's February, then. Just a little taster of, uh... Yeah, hey, here's Disney, right? Um, so, we need to get into the park. But, hopefully, Hollywood Studios have got the new security bag search thing because Hollywood Studios was renowned for being a nightmare with queues. Yeah. However, as we're walking through, it's the Skyliner. Look. We'll be doing that later to get to Epcot. It just feels like it's always been here now. The Skyliner. Yeah. Yeah. It's mad. Right, let's get into Hollywood Studios. Hollywood, what's your dream? Welcome to Hollywood. Oh, see, I love Hollywood Studios, but it is nicer at Christmas. Yeah. Like. Our own stores have got like the Christmas because that's where the minis are in there, aren't they? In that one, but they were gold this time. They weren't the red ones. They were gold for the 50th. Chinese theatre. Trying to decide where we're heading. What do we do? So we just had our photos done outside the Chinese theatre. That was cool, wasn't it? Yeah, it was funny. Got us to do some poses and you know we put on our best model hats and uh, did our best. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Don't know what they're gonna come out like. No, you never know what they're gonna come out like. But no, so we're making our way over to Galaxy's Edge because our 
individual lightning lane for Rise of the Resistance has started. So we just thought, let's just go do it. It's what we've been waiting for. So yeah. I hope it's good. It I should be. The bit I'm most excited for, there's two bits. When you walk out and you see the stormtroopers, yeah. I think that is going to be cool. And the bit where you see Kylo Ren. Oh, what, well, when he comes out? When he comes out, yeah. yeah. I think that's going to be cool. And, pat on the back for me, because I remembered their names and I'm not necessarily the biggest Star Wars fan. Well, Kylo Ren and Stormtrooper. Yeah, I remembered. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's good for me. Right, let's go to uh, Rise of the Resistance. Okay, so it's official. The queue, standby queue, for Rise of the Resistance is ridiculous. I mean, it's busy, but the park's busy, but that is just madness. That is crazy. We were lucky. We were lucky to bag it. Bag it. So we're already on? Yeah. Yeah. But welcome to Batu. It's Lightning Lane. Right. You ready? <laughs> We're in. Need to get my mask, get the ready. Oh my god, I was so excited. No, you've got first order and the resistance, yeah? Yeah, resistance is the first order of battle. Okay. What are you? First order. Yeah, first order. <laughs> mask on. Oh wow. Oh, it's nice and warm. I don't know how much of the queue you miss out. Yes. 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 Yes.
<laughs> Black leader, we're picking up an unusual signal. Are you spotting anything? Yeah, I see it. We'll check it out. BB-8, where you at? There appear to be a number of small craft heading our way. Raise the shields. <laughs> there is one moving, he's just moved his head. This is just like, wow. The impact of it when you walk through. Yeah, they move their heads, did you see this twist his head? Keep the prisoners here. 
I were trying to finish this personally. Okay, take this corridor to the triple list, then head down to the escape pod base. Those droids are programmed to return you to Batu. Hurry and don't get caught. Lieutenant Mech will guide you. Recruits, for your safety, stay seated with seatbelts securely fastened. Keep hands on safety legs inside the transport and supervise your children. What the? Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> Wow. Did it work? Good. Now get a move on. There's a clear path to the turbo lifts at the end of the hallway. Turn right. <laughs> Pro droid. You're lucky it didn't spot you. Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. Okay. Oh no. Wait. Go to the prisoners. <laughs> we have a breach. Your cover is blown. Find an alternate route. Oh, wow. Two towards anyway. Attention, Lord Breach. This is crazy. Yeah, we got one. This thing drives the floor. down to the escape ports. The resistance will attempt to rescue the prisoners. They have neither the resources nor the courage to engage us. You underestimate their conviction. Raise the shields. Away. Shields? I see no evidence. Now! Down the alarm! All personnel to their stations! Sir, the prisoners have escaped. Our brains. Oh, no. They're ultimately hopeless. There's nowhere to run. Yeah, back! Oh, oh, you're alive! 
I should hope so. Great job, recruits. Why, thank, thank you. Your heroism, the location of the resistance base is secure. Bravo. Yes, R5, you too. Wow. Wow, that was amazing. That was unreal. That was just... Oh. It, it's just... I don't even know what to say. Like, that just completely outdid all my expectations. Yeah. Even though you've watched it so many times and you actually do it, oh my god. That was just... Wow. The only thing I did notice is that the Kylo Ren animatronic. Oh, he didn't come out. He didn't come out where the, the, he gets blown out of the spaceship, so they've changed that. Yeah, it must be dying. Yeah, so, but still, wow, amazing, everything, even down to the cast members and how they were interacting with people. Amazing. So after Rise of the Resistance, I felt a little bit thirsty, picked up one of these. Pretty cool. Yeah, Galaxy's Edge is busy. Oh, stormtroopers, all right. Oh, that's really cool. You can actually see the um, where the Star Cruiser Hotel comes through. That's like through there. So they've got like the bushes up, but that's where it will come through. You can see the stormtroopers. <laughs> they look so cool. Star Cruiser, part of the experience is that you get to come into Galaxy's Edge, and this is the entrance. So this is where you come through. If you're walking into it from this way, this is what you get to see. This is amazing. It's quite cool. And you can come out and you can go straight away and try some blue milk or green milk. Joe, do you want some milk? Do you want milk? Do I want milk? Yeah. No, I do not want milk. <laughs> Joe doesn't like the milk. <laughs> We've done that before. It was not good. to say our reservation, Ogre's Cantina is ready. So we're gonna head over to there and 
check out what's going on in there. Have a little drinky booze. Let's do it. Ogre's Cantina is wow in there. She's mad. We're at the bar. Decided what we're going for. Going for the Fuzzy Tautan and the T16 Skyhopper. This is wow. It's early, but you need alcohol when you come here. Like when you're here. It's like going on holiday. Yeah, you go on holiday, you get to the airport, it could be 6 o'clock in the morning, but you have a drink. So that's how I'm kind of thinking this is. But this is like a little... Look at it, it's so cool. So, got it. This is the fuzzy tau, -ta tau tam or something. Apparently it makes your lips go numb. Joe got the T16 Skyhopper, which is like milky. Got a bit of kiwi though. So yeah, it's time kiwi to... Kiwi and melon. Kiwi and melon yeah. with milk. Yeah, basically. So, buttons up. Here we go. I'm ready. It tastes nice. That tastes really nice. That is really good. But you've got, I have got a bit of a tingle. You know what I mean? get a piece of kiwi. That is like. I think one of That is a top tier. That tingle is funny. What's yours like? Very sweet. She said, she warned you. She said it was going to be sweet. We got a drink. My lips and my tongue are tingling. So it's Joe's because he tried some. Um, but we picked up some Batu bits as well. And I think Joe's got them. They're a bit spicy, aren't they? No? Not for me. Not for you. They'd, be, they'd blow my mind, but... Yeah, they'd be yeah. way too yeah. It's cool. This is like fish skin. It's cool. So there I was, enjoying my drink. Foam and, <laughs> and then Natalie, the, the cast member, was like, do you want more foam? And I was like, go on then. She got me more foam. More foam. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> and then I was like, right, you're going to die, sure. And she was like, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> that, look at that. All the foam. That's amazing. There it is. So cool. So the good news is, I can still walk in a straight line. That was uh, an experience. One last look. Cool. Amazing. That was wild. Right. And then you're outside. Yeah, and then you realise like, oh yeah, I've been drinking and it's really early. But hey, take my mask off. And... Sunglasses on. So yeah, that was cool. That was brilliant. I'm glad we've done that. That was good fun. We've never done it before, so we thought we'd give it a go. Loved it. It's back. It's time to watch it. See, if it wasn't for this guy, none of this would be possible. So from One Man's Dream to the Hollywood Tower of Terror. This is like our favourite ride. And we got a lightning lane for it, but we are getting close to the end of the time window, so we're in a bit of a rush. But it's time to do this bad boy. Oh, look at her.
Hollywood, 1939. Amid the glitz and the glitter of a bustling young movie town at the height of its golden age, the Hollywood Tower Hotel was a star in its own right. expression to, <laughs> to explain what just happened oh it was funny it was funny so we are now heading our way over to mickey and minnie's runaway railway we've not done this before it's a new one and we did bag a individual lightning lane so we're not having to queue in the ridiculously long standby lane which i'm looking at right now and it is yeah i wouldn't queue in that <laughs> But I'm not a queuer. We're in. So we're in. We're in the queue. We're about to see it for the first time. Are you looking forward to this one, Joe? Yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be a little bit. Ratatouille? Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing Daisy doing her moves. Hey, she's sassy. She's sassy. She's sassy.
train? Excuse me, you there. Do you mind helping these good people into the cartoon while I fix this here locomotive? <laughs> Thanks. Be back in a jiffy to pick you all up. <laughs> Make sure that everything's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is cool. Nicky Minnie's run away. Railway. Yeah. Railway. Railroad. Yeah, it's. I think it's busted. <laughs> it's cleverly done. To the trains.
nothing was gonna go wrong. <laughs> It was good. Preferred it over Ratatouille. Paris. Paris is Ratatouille, whether or not the Epcot version would be any different. Um, but we are now heading back up Sunset Boulevard to do Rocky Roller Coaster. And then that's probably going to be our last thing here at Hollywood Studios to, for today, anyway. So let's, uh, let's get over to Rocky Roller Coaster. So there you go, rock and roller coaster done. That was good. That was good. Got thrown about as always. Yeah, my hair went. Loved it, absolutely loved it. Um, we are heading out of Hollywood Studios now because we are going to be going over to Epcot to try some Festival of the Arts this year's. Gonna catch the Skyliner. Gonna get a Skyliner. Um, so if you want to see what we get up to in Epcot, then make sure you subscribe. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it the thumbs up. Um, but until next time, it's adios from me. Cheerio. Bye. Bye.